Hey, it's Rick Kettner here. Let's talk about one of the most important shifts that you can make with your business, how to flip the switch from survival mode to growth mode. This ultimately is a pretty simple concept, but it's a very important choice. And ultimately, it comes down to making the choice to execute on this strategy, to shift your company's focus if you want to benefit from what I'm going to be talking about in this video. But before we actually dive into how to flip the switch, I want to establish some context. Let's start by focusing on the first priority of a business. When you build a brand new business, your number one priority is attracting customers and generating initial revenue. If you don't have revenue, you don't really have a business or it's not gonna be a business for very long. So when you first start out, there's no shortcutting this process. This video isn't about trying to bypass this important first step. You need revenue, you need early customers. If you're struggling with that at all, I recommend you check out some of the other videos here on the channel. I'll link them up in the information box or down in the video description box below. They can help you when it comes to getting new customers and getting this initial momentum started. But once you've kind of passed that stage of the business, it's really important that you make a choice between the two different ways to continue to operate your business. And unfortunately for a lot of entrepreneurs out there, they're not really aware of this choice, so they just default to the first option. And that first option is to jump on the proverbial hamster wheel and just continue the process from earlier where you're always pursuing new customers and new revenue. And the real problem with this strategy is month in, month out, quarter in, quarter out, year after year, they have to focus all of their time and energy on chasing down and earning the business of new customers, new prospects, earning and generating that revenue. So it's a manual process. They're always focused and obsessed with attracting new customers. The second option is to actually shift your strategy entirely, and this has to be done carefully, but to shift your strategy over to helping customers use your products, get more value out of your products, and ultimately turning into brand advocates that are recommending your products or your services to other customers. This applies whether you're selling physical products, digital products, online services, in-person experiences, doesn't matter what you're selling. This shift is moving away from having to earn every single new sale on your own and always be focused and obsessed about earning new customers versus turning your business into an organic growth engine where happy customers turn around and promote your products and services to new customers. And of course, this can create a virtuous cycle where customers are leaving positive reviews, they're spreading the word through word of mouth and referring your products to other people. And of course, they're conducting in repeat business. They're coming back to you for even more. Even if you only sell one product, they might come back and buy extra copies or extra units to share with family and friends. So the whole idea here is you want customers so happy, so satisfied that they become your number one source for generating new business. Now, I think the reason why many entrepreneurs don't ever explore the second option, is that they get caught in the trap of the first option, right? They started their business right off the bat. They had to attract new customers. They had to generate revenue. And they just repeated this pattern. And over time, they became more and more dependent on their next customer. Because as the business grows, revenue grows, but of course, expenses grow. And you're always in this rat race where you need your next sale. You need more customers. You need more revenue. Otherwise, the business just falls apart. And so it's very easy to get caught in this trap where all you can think about is where you're going to get your next revenue. Every month, every quarter, every year, you just need to figure out where you're going to get more revenue from. And that can leave entrepreneurs completely blind to other options, blind to the fact that many customers, unfortunately, that buy a product or service, even if they don't return it, they may not be particularly happy. They might never have figured out how to use it. They might, they might have figured out how to use it, but then never really followed through on actually using it. They might not be satisfied. They might not be happy. And so a lot of entrepreneurs are so focused on new customers that they, they aren't even aware of the reality with so many businesses today that customers, they bought the product, now it's buried in a closet somewhere, or they downloaded the mobile app and they've since deleted it, or it's buried in a folder somewhere on their phone, or they've subscribed to some online service and either they dropped off after a few months or they've maintained their subscription but have just never really gotten into using the, the service, whatever it might be. And the other interesting thing, and I think a lot of entrepreneurs fall into this trap, is they just assume, hey, I've solved the problem, right? The customer came to me, they came to my business, they had a problem, they had a question on Google, or they clicked an ad on Facebook, they came to my website, they found my solution, they bought it, and the onus is now on them to figure it out, to use my solution, to solve their problem. Of course, this is a very short-sighted approach and it doesn't hold up to much scrutiny 
But when we're so focused on getting new customers, it's really easy to fall into this trap of just assuming either customers are already using the product or service and they're happy, or if they're not, what can we do about it, right? We gave them the solution to their problem, and if they want to use it, they can. But of course, at the end of the day, if we really want to create this positive virtuous cycle where customers are leaving positive reviews, they are coming back and engaging in repeat business, they're spreading the word through word of mouth and turning into brand advocates that actually help us promote our products and services to a larger audience. If we want to achieve those things, it's not enough to just leave this in the hands of customers and to say, well, you figure it out. We need to take an active role in making sure that they're using our products, that they're getting the most value out of our products, and at the end of the day, that they're so excited and so in love with our products and services that they're recommending them to others. So that's really the focus here. And more than anything, because I'm gonna do a follow-up video to this video, but more than anything in this video, I just wanna focus on establishing this choice. This choice between maintaining the status quo and always being on the treadmill or the hamster wheel of having to earn new customers or turning your business into an organic growth engine that brings customers, new customers to you on your behalf without you necessarily having to put in a bunch of extra time and effort. So that is the focus of this video, just establishing this choice, allowing you to see the two different options. But in the very next video, we're gonna focus on how to turn customers into brand advocates, how to actually make this shift, how to make it so your business is more focused on helping customers enjoy your products, get more value out of them, and recommend them to others. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button here on YouTube to let me know. It lets me know what kind of content you enjoy and what kind of content I should create more of in the future. And if you're interested in the very next video or other videos on business, marketing, or entrepreneurship, I recommend that you subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and that you turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss out on the next video or any future videos. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions at all about anything that I covered here, let me know down in the comment section below, but otherwise I'll see you in the next video.